The rampant postings on walls have generated a wide range of concerns from the general public. These stickers and flyers are posted on walls without any concerns by the owners of the wall. So TV Africa takes a look at this particular issue and my colleague has filed this report. It is amazing to know that certain paraphernalia, i.e. banners, stickers and posters have been posted on walls and left ajar for a very long time. However, these stickers and posters affect the cleanliness of the country. Today, I'm on the streets to find out from people about why such things posted and put on walls and bridges should be taken off. Uh, I think that it's quite very uh, sad and appalling that uh, Ghanaians could be taken up such. And this is not only limited to politicians. Most people who are, um, I mean, the musicians who have been doing their pro, they do post their preferring and uh, a lot of uh, posters around. And I think that it's very expedient that after they have finished their program, they come back to pick them to make Ghana a better place. If you actually want to make Ghana a, a neater place or the best place in Africa, then we have to pick it. Our attitudes, we have to change our attitudes so that after the program, you come back and pick them up so that we make Ghana a, a nice place. We we'll put posters on a wall. I think they should go for big balls and those things. It's better than the posters that they put is on the wall. It's that in the, the walls and the paint too. It's very, nowadays when you buy paint, it's very expensive. So I don't think it's the best. I mean, if I have a house, you come and put, post your, your poster on the wall, I will not allow. It's really bad. It's like they are literally in the country, but we don't have anything to say by there. I mean, the problem right now is, assuming that those MPP and NDC have posted a banner or posted a flyer on a wall for campaign or something. If MPP win, how do you expect NDC people to come back and come and remove those flyers on the wall? Or if MPP to win, how do you expect them to come? Because after that, their party have win. So they have to leave their stickers on the wall. So the winner will not be able to come and the loser will not be able to come. So the best way is that in Ghana, yet we don't have any place that we post posters or less billboard. That, I mean, you have to rent that. And that, that billboard won't be enough for the campaign team to post. So I think you can't do anything about it. It's the same. We don't have any place, apart from the billboard that we built, that we mount on the road. There's no place that you're supposed to post stickers. I think by the best, we'll be on a light pole. As all has been said and done, we hope that Ghanaians will learn from the negative impact of putting paraphernalia on walls and bridges. For TV Africa News, this is Nana Kwejo Opong.